Well, I really don't know in detail. Okay, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Not too sure. I was bad in biology. It's a responsibility. It's not an enjoyment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still not married. Oh. The ancient way, sex. Got to have sex. Sperm goes in. Ovulates babies. Woo. Yeah, it's mating between a man and a woman. It is a combination of two cells. One cell comes from mother, that is called as ovum or egg. Another cell comes from father, paternal side, and that is a spermatozoa. Uh, and obviously, these two cells meet when there is intercourse. It happens during ovulation period. Huh? No, sorry, first time I'm hearing the word. Listen, uh, by time is over, I've forgotten. You have to give me two minutes, I need to think. Mm, no. I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, it's like a pinball game where something is released from somewhere and it goes somewhere. Yeah, There's a formation of eggs in women that leads to getting the babies out. There's an egg formation inside a female for making babies. That's the high fertility point. So the, the period where she has the highest possibilities of being pregnant. If uh, the meeting is proper in time. I have no clue. My mom said like some dates are calculated. So so it's I guess it's one week after your cycle. This is closer to the date of your periods and uh, after your periods. Yeah, somewhere uh, from 11th to 16th day or somewhere around that. And usually ovulation occurs midway between two menstruation and normal menstruation being 28 to 32 days. So ovulation usually occurs uh, at around 14th to 16th day for all women who are having normal regular menstruation. be better for the couple to know when that period is and then it's easier for them to conceive. A simpler way of finding ovulation would make life simpler. <laughs>